Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren and I'm coming to you from my fabric and haberdashery shop, Guthrie and Ganny, to share with you my top picks of dressmaking fabrics if you are a beginner dressmaker or if you're a confident beginner, you've maybe done a few projects but you're just looking to expand your skills a little bit more and you're not sure of the best type of fabrics to work with. And when it comes to dressmaking, there are so many different types of fabrics that you can make amazing clothes from which is great it's really good to have a lot of choice and we sell so many different types of fabric in the shop here and online as well but that can be overwhelming when you're a beginner and sometimes too much choice just leads to indecision and you almost don't know where to start so i'm going to really focus this video on just the types of fabrics that I think make really good ones when you're tackling those first projects and starting your dressmaking journey. So this video does go alongside another video and blog post that I've done as well that focuses on sewing patterns that are suitable for beginners. So it's good if you can watch both videos at the same time and then you'll be able to get a really nice overview and selection of good patterns and good fabrics so that you can plan a project that you're going to make a garment that you really love and that you're proud of and that will help to develop your skills as well so the, the blog post that goes along with this particular video does link to examples of all of the fabrics that I'm going to show you that I do have available in my online shop so if there's something specific that you see that you like in the video then you'll be able to find it in that blog post but we do have a huge variety of different colors and now that you're going to be learning the types of names of fabrics to look out for as well then it will help you to just hone your search down a little bit and pick out something that is really lovely. So first of all, in terms of a general overview, I wanna just make the distinction between woven fabrics and jersey or stretchy fabrics. And if you're a beginner and you're still doing, you're, you're in your first or your first few projects, it's generally better to stick with woven fabric. And the reason that I say that is, is that there's a lot of different elements to dressmaking that you have to contend with. There's picking the pattern, there's picking the fabric, there's working out all of the terms and the instructions and what all the language means. There's getting your head around actually sewing something that's 3D. And when you sew with jersey or stretch fabric, there is just another element that you've got to sort of try and get your head around. So it's good if you can kind of eliminate that when you're still building up your skills, get used to constructing garments with nice, stable woven fabric. The next thing is the fiber content of the fabric. And quite often that can be a really good clue as to whether it is gonna be a fabric that is good for you as a beginner. And generally cotton is often recommended for beginners cotton comes in many different forms and different thicknesses and you'll see lots of different examples of cotton as i show you all of the fabrics as well and um, but cotton or linen or a cotton and linen mix is generally quite a good type of fiber to focus on when you're picking out a fabric if something's synthetic like if it's polyester or it's a polyester mix they tend not to press or crease as well which can sometimes make them a bit harder to sew with whereas cotton fabrics will, will, will press really well and will sew really nicely and they're just easier to control. So they're good choices. So what I've tried to do is break the types of fabrics I'm gonna show you down into generally what types of garments they might be good for as well. So I'm gonna cover PJ bottoms or like elasticated waist trousers. And this corresponds with the sewing patterns that I recommend in my other video as well. Then we've got simple tops and then we've got simple skirts too. So when it comes to making pyjama bottoms or like, a, like simple sort of a, more like elasticated or like kind of pull on trousers, the first thing I would suggest that you do is decide whether you're gonna be wearing them actually in bed to sleep their PJs or if it's a pair of trousers that you're going to be wearing out and about during the day because you might want to have like a different vibe to those <laughs> types of garments and depending on your fabric choice it just makes it a bit more pajama-y or a bit more trouser-like. So if you're actually going to be wearing these trousers to sleep in and go to bed you want them to be a bit lighter weight, you want them to be nice and soft and cotton lawn is a really good choice for that. So that's the first fabric that I'm going to show you. And cotton lawn is really nice and lightweight as you can see and the threads that have woven this fabric are very fine and they're also very densely woven together as well, which means that it's got a really lovely smooth texture to it. it do, although it's lightweight, it doesn't slip around, 
it presses really nicely and it's just really nice and lightweight to wear as well so cotton lawn is a nice option and then a little bit heavier than that is cotton poplin so similar to cotton lawn it just physically feels a bit thicker and heavier so it's just it's just got a bit more sort of structure to it like it will hold its shape a little bit more cotton lawn tends to be like a bit more kind of floppy and airy whereas cotton poplin will just it's not stiff but it just holds its shape and structure a little bit more so this is an example of a cotton lawn here cotton shirting it can also is, is also similar sometimes that can get get described as like cotton poplin as well and then the other really good option for actual pjs that you're going to be wearing to bed this is a good winter option and this is more of a medium weight cotton so it's a bit heavier than both the poplin and the lawn and this is brushed cotton or cotton flannel it gets called sometimes and it's it, it, it starts off just being a bit thicker anyway but the kind of finishing process that the fabric goes through as it's being made is the surface of it sort of gets agitated or brushed a little bit and it means that it then feels almost feels like slightly fluffy or just yeah just like a little bit brushed so it's nice and cozy if you're making winter pgs then this is a really good option um, and this is just an example of one of the brushed ones we've got we quite often have some really nice checked ones in as well and um, that's a bit more of a sort of plain one that comes in a few different colorways then if you're going to make elasticated waist trousers that are then actually going to be worn outside the ones that i've got are going to give you a more summery trouser so i have got a rami here which is very similar to linen and it has quite a sort of structured thicker texture to it you can see that it almost kind of looks a bit creased and that's just like the aesthetic of it and um, it's a really lovely fabric you you know you can see that it's nice and stable it's not slipping around it's a really nice easy one to work with then another one similar to that is our enzyme linen blend so this has got a little bit of cotton in it it's mostly mostly linen and anything that does have linen in it will always have a kind of slubby sort of texture to it so the fibers are like the threads that weave linen fabric they're 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 irregular they're not as sort of smooth and fine and flat so it means that the actual fabric has this really lovely texture to it but again this is a nice nice easy stable fabric to work with it looks really nice in trousers i've made summer trousers out of this type this this type of fabric before is a little bit lighter than the rami so it might be that you sort of prefer that you want something that's a little bit lighter and then lighter still is our serona linen so serona is just another type of lint of fiber basically it does tend to be a bit lighter weight so it will move around a bit more than the others but i think it's still pretty easy to sew with and um, it just it, it will just sort of swish and kind of move around a bit more compared to the rami and the linen fabric but it does make really nice trousers as well and because it is a little bit thinner it might not feel quite as bulky in a gathered waist as some other ones again comes in a really lovely range of colors as well this is just a sort of classic nice stone gray one we go with lots of different things this one so they're all really good options for trousers Onto the simple tops and the cotton lawn and cotton poplin that I showed you at the beginning would also be really good for simple tops. The cotton poplin will hold its shape a little bit more. So if it's a sort of looser fitting top that's maybe quite boxy, the cotton poplin will hold that boxy shape a little bit more. Whereas the cotton lawn will, will sort of kind of hang and move around a little bit more in comparison the other good option for a nice simple top is a cotton and linen mix which is this one here it's almost 50 50 it's 55 linen and then got cotton in it as well and it's got quite a sort of subtle pinstripe in it which is quite nice this does come in a few colorways as well and it's just again it's just got a really nice sort of structure and weight to it it's not too not too lightweight it's not too thick you know it feels nice and soft it's got a nice sort of texture to it and another really good option for a simple top then the other one the other sort of name or term to look out for as well is chambray and chambray refers to a fabric where one one direction of threads is typically white 
and the other direction of threads is typically blue but it can be other colorways as well and what you end up with is almost like a sort of two-tone effect in the fabric chambray can be made of different things this is like a linen chambray you can get cotton chambrays as well both would be suitable for making tops and beginner garments i think they're both pretty easy to work with but you can see that it just yeah it, it's not it's plain but it's not like a solid color because of the way that it's been woven and um, and this this one's a bit of a lighter weight linen so compared to that enzyme linen that i showed you before this one is just a little bit lighter weight so so yeah maybe a bit more suited to tops as opposed to trousers in terms of a linen and um, for that one and then i've also got this textured cotton here this is our vintage textured cotton which we do have coming in very soon in lots of lovely summery colours. But this is almost a bit like the Rami fabric in terms of its texture and its finish. So it's not it's not a smooth, flat fabric. Just the way that it's been woven and the sort of twist in the thread that's woven it means it has a bit more depth and texture to it, but it is 100% cotton. And yes, it's lighter weight than the Rami, but it's still still nice and easy to control and work with and would be really nice for a little simple top as well then if we think about skirts it may depend on what time of year that you're making this skirt you could definitely use the the rami fabric or the serona linen or the enzyme linen to make a more sort of summery skirt that would be a good option or if you want something that's a bit thicker and a bit heavier maybe more for the autumn or winter then this cotton twill here is a really good option it's more it's a bit th sort of thicker and heavier than the other fabrics that i've shown you a bit more stable and when you look closely you'll see that it's got these sort of diagonal ridges on it that's referring to the twill weave of it so it's just the, it's 100 percent cotton but the way that it's been woven is that these sort of lines get created and it just makes for a bit of a thicker sort of heavier fabric and this is a really lovely nice easy one to work with and would be good for a nice little simple skirt and um, that's going to sort of hold its shape and structure so maybe like a sort of nice a-line skirt a kind of straighter skirt the other option is denim as well and denim is pretty easy to work with this one here is a non-stretch denim so you can get denims that have got elastane in them which means they're stretchy um, which usually are, are, are okay to work with as well. But this particular one is just 100% cotton. So it's just got, got a bit more sort of structure to it. Um, it is actually very similar to the cotton twill. Denim does have a twill weave. So it's got those sort of diagonal kind of ridges or textures on it. But just the way that it's dyed and the way that it's, yeah, the way that it's colored is just a, just a little bit different basically. But yeah, denim skirts are a nice nice easy option to go for and then also there is corduroy as well so maybe not for your very 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 first project but cotton corduroy especially the sort of heavier weight the kind of thicker ones i think they are ge generally quite easy to work with because they're quite structured they don't slip around too much um, and they do look really nice as skirts as well as I said, maybe not for a first time skirt, like you wouldn't be wanting to make a gathered waist skirt with this one, maybe a skirt that's a simple skirt that's got a zip when it's maybe like your your third or fourth project um, is a good is a good option. But yeah, it's another nice cotton one that is that, that, that makes a really lovely garment. So I hope that's helped to narrow things down for you a little bit. As I said in the beginning, there are so many different types of fabric and it's you know, it can, it can be really easy to get overwhelmed if you're wanting to start building up your knowledge of the different fabric names and types how they behave and what they're what they're suitable for I do have a little series of videos that sort of focuses on different groups of fabric in a bit more detail as well so I'll link to that in the description to this video and you can check that out if you want to start broadening your knowledge a little bit more but sometimes you just need to kind of narrow things down to help you make a choice help you get started on a dressmaking project and the more that you do the more that you learn and the more you get into it and it yeah there's there's always new things to learn i've been sewing and making my own clothes for well over 10 years now and I, i'm still seeing different fabrics all the time and learning about new things so the learning never stops which is really exciting but hopefully this just gives you a nice place to start if you're on that dressmaking journey so remember you can get all of these in my online shop 
links are in the description if you've got any questions you can leave a comment below you can reach out to the g and g team and i here at the shop you can call us or you can email us as well i'll put the contact details below for you too if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to my channel already just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and i'll see you next time <laughs> bye